Uh, currently we sell the television rights through a collective made up of the six uh, unions involved in the Six Nations tournament um, where revenues are uh, uh, generated from television, sale of television rights across all the territories. They're pooled and then divided up uh, according to a formula. Um, and effectively what that means is that uh, the Irish market puts about 2.5 million into the uh, pool and uh, the IRFU and Irish rugby uh, gets back around 14, 15 million. Uh, some of the big broadcasters uh, in the UK, in terms of Sky and BT, would uh, view the market as being a combined market of the UK and Ireland. What we want to do is ensure that uh, we have a proper market uh, between the terrestrial broadcasters and indeed the pay broadcasters, so that we can maximise the values uh, in relation to the Six Nations Championship. Of course we have to take account of and consider uh, the balance between exposure of the Six Nations, uh, which we would have great exposure and free to wear, and equally uh, in relation to the sort of revenues that can be produced from uh, pay television. The fundamental issue for us is that if the market is disturbed uh, and we only have free to wear broadcasters, uh, it's unlikely that the free-to-air broadcasters will come up with the sort of uh, monies that we need uh, to sustain the professional game and the amateur game, uh, both here in Ireland and indeed in the UK. Uh, the big issue for us is if the unions in the UK feel that um, our market uh, has become um, encumbered, they may change the way in which they distribute the revenues, and that's where the real threat is to us. The IRFU is a, a not-for-profit organisation. Uh, every every, every uh, euro and every cent that uh, is generated uh, by us is pumped straight back into, firstly, uh, the grassroots game at club and schools level, uh, and then, obviously, into the professional game. Uh, we employ uh, 160, 170 professional players. We have coaches, we have medical staff, we have strength and conditioning people, uh, we have administrators. Uh, all are there to ensure that our professional teams in the four provinces and obviously our national team, the women's team, are all as successful as they can be on the international stage. Uh, and without the revenues that are generated from the Six Nations, we will simply not be able to sustain what we currently do. I think what we'll be saying to the department is, effectively, we have absolutely no problem if the, if the uh, Six Nations is listed on free-to-air, but who's going to, sub who's going to uh, compensate the IRFU and Irish rugby for the loss of income? Uh, the government's own report in 2010 suggested that uh, we would lose uh, anywhere between 6.5 million and 12 million euro a year. Uh, and at the end of the day, if we lose that sort of money, I think we are going to have a real problem in holding our international stars. We're going to have a real problem in continuing to have a successful professional game. And that impacts our ability to fund uh, the amateur game at club and schools level as well. The Minister is going to be inviting submissions uh, over the next uh, five or six weeks. Uh, and I would uh, urge any rugby fan uh, who wants to see a continued success of our international team, the continued success of our provinces, and indeed the continued success of growing the game right throughout the island, I, I would urge them to uh, write to the minister. Uh, I'd urge them to contact their local representatives and make it absolutely clear that uh, any legislation that is brought in which is going to impact our ability to continue to be a successful sport and a successful international sport and a growing sport at all levels, right down to grassroots level, any impact on that, uh, they would need to be very careful of what they do.